But what I want to talk about is the uh, Anthony Edwards. Did he bounce back? Did he have a hell of a game? 27 points, three steals, four assists, four rebounds, seven for eight from the free throw line, four for nine from three, eight for 17 from the field. You know what was telling to me? What Ant-Man said about him just wanting to come into this game and be aggressive. Uh, they took the ball out of his hands in the last game. So he wanted to make it a focal point coming in, being aggressive. But he also said that his head coach, Chris Finch, told him to be more aggressive. Ain't that telling? That's crazy. I'm just glad somebody was telling him. But Chris Finch hit it right on the money. And Chris Finch knew. Chris Finch knew he seen some gaps. They watched film and uh, Ant-Man just wasn't aggressive. He had a lot of open opportunities to where he could have took control, uh, drove hard to the paint, quick on a jump shot. Uh, they were double teaming him, but man, it had some some cracks. Uh, they weren't that tight on the double team. I think he just accepted and just wanted to pass the ball and play the team game, which he did. I won't say he's off the snide because he should have shot more. He did say that, that surprised me. He said he only had 17 attempts uh, he he wished he should have had more. He should have shot some more. And he's right. But but he's going to be exempt from that because he had help. Uh, the whole team had it rolling. See, when they're rolling and cooking like that, he don't have to hoist shots all night long. It's balanced. Everybody got it rolling. Everybody's cooking. So there's no need for him to just go out there and hoist shots when everything is rolling well offensively. I mean, a lot of guys stepped up. A lot of guys. McDaniels, 21 points. He had a breakout, two blocks, four rebounds, uh, three for five from the three-point line. He was eight for 10 from the field. See, that's nice for 21 points. And uh, Conley, those three threes he hit, they were huge at that time. Three for six from the three-point line, uh, 13 points for uh, Conley. He came back and uh, he made a difference. Got people in the right spots uh, looking for his shot. So he took some pressure off. It, the offense is different when Conley's out there, but for us, Edwards being aggressive and putting up shots, it don't matter who should be out there. He's off the snide, but they're going back to Denver. And I don't think they're gonna win it in Denver. That's just my personal opinion. Now, I like an underdog. Y'all know how I love underdogs. So I would love to see the Timberwolves beat the Nuggets. I don't have no stakes in the game. Not a Timberwolves fan, not a Nuggets fan. Just want to watch a good game. But I do like rooting for underdogs. And if the Timberwolves could pull it out, it'd be nice. But I just don't think they're going to be able to pull that out because, hey, one thing is on the road. This is a game seven. You just embarrass the champs. You're going to get all and more from them come Sunday. They'll be ready to go. They'll be ready to go. I just think the task is going to be too big uh, for the young bucks. Uh, this is when experience takes over. And I just think they're going to come with everything. Uh, Jokic's going to have it rolling. Murray's going to have it rolling. Michael Porter Jr. is going to be having this three going. The role player's going to be more comfortable at home. So it's going to be extremely tough. And far as that defense, they definitely gonna have to take it on the road. It don't have to look like game two, but it can look like last game. So that defense fuels their offense. They can lock people down and get in the open floor. That gives them the best chance to win. They gotta be all over the place. And Anthony Edwards, hopefully he can have more attempts in this game seven. I don't want him to come in this game and wait for anybody. I think he should come right out of the gate. Uh, they're going to double team him just like they're going to double team the Joker. We already know that people are going to get double teamed. How you handle that double team is going to be the question. Are you going to play the team game or are you going to come out firing early, attacking the double team? Because if you attack the double team, you're going to open up some holes in the defense. 
Because they're going to be trying to trap you. But you seen it uh, last game. I mean, it's just a late. They're just running up there trying to scare him off the ball. But if he's not willing to come off that ball and be aggressive, it won't be effective. That double team will not be effective. They're just coming with their hands straight up in the air, trying to chase him off of it. Hold it. Attack it. You're going to get some fouls, even splitting it. They can't cover everybody. Got two men on you. You bust the uh, trap. You get in the middle of the floor. You have shooters all over the place. And a couple of dump offs for layups and dunks. But you got to be aggressive. So he had 15 attempts <laughs> in game five. Now he has 17 attempts in game six. And I like his shot selection. He was aggressive, but he kind of, he was letting it come to him a little bit. But like I say, when you're at home and you got it rolling and everybody else is pitching in and the offense is working well, everybody's cooking, that's okay. That's okay. Because he knows he should have had more attempts because if they'd have lost the game, he would have been to blame. I mean, 17 attempts in a loss with 27 points, it won't be good enough. Crazy as that might sound, it won't be good enough. See, if he went eight for 35, I tip my hat to him. He tried. How can you argue with that? He tried to go out there and win the game. He just was off. See, we can live with that. We can live with that. He was just off. But you got to put the temps up to do that. Let's check out these Nuggets because they couldn't get, I mean, 70 points. Are we going to get that Timberwolves defense that much credit? <laughs> 70 points. When the last time you've seen that, especially from a champion, I'm going to get that defense some credit. But like I say, they had a lot of wide open shots too. They just missed. I don't even know if Denver was ready for that game. Didn't look like it. Didn't look like it. But let's go check out the Denver Nuggets real quick before we get out of here. Looks a lot different, don't it? You don't have that spreadage and everybody involved like in game five. Look at the Joker. Man, they played some good defense on him. And it, and it was a team effort. There's no one guy can shut him down. And we know that. So it has to be a team effort. Minnesota put up a good team effort. They tipped the ball away from him, like on offensive rebounds when he tried to get the ball back. They just batted away from him enough so they can get the rebound and head in the other direction. They just had his timing off just a little bit. And he had some jump shots and some threes that he missed. Usually he will make those. So his timing was just a little off. They might have sped him up just a little bit in that game. But it was just enough for them to win in a blowout. Because if Jokic not cooking and everybody else not involved, that offense can look pretty bad. And they couldn't get anything going. 70 points. I mean, 70 points. Just think about that. Aaron Gordon had a decent game. You know, you're getting so used to seeing him with 27, 30 points now. And really, he's not really that type of guy. I mean, he's coming to his own last couple of seasons, but he was known as a dunker, a uh, high flyer, you know, winning a slam dunk contest, but he's polished his game up over the years, and now he's shooting threes. He worked on that. He's taking it off the dribble. So his game has evolved, no doubt about that. So they're expecting him 
to bring the ball up, set up the offense. Guy came a long way. Uh, we'll give him a round of applause. I didn't even think I was going to do awards tonight, to be honest with you. I don't even know why I gave him a round of applause. I didn't do nothing for uh, Minnesota. So, uh, no, we, we, we're going to leave that alone tonight. This is just a briefing tonight. We'll leave that alone. Uh, the Joker, 22 points, 9 rebounds, 0 for 4 from the 3-point line, 9 for 19 from the field. Hit his free throws, 4 for 4. But you see the difference? Very low in assist. So that lets you know they were off. Nobody was hitting. Nothing was consistent. When a joker have two assists, that's a problem. 